Good morning to you on this Tuesday morning. We continue our consideration of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, today verses 23 and 24. All things are lawful, but not all things are profitable. All things are lawful, but not all things edify. Let no one seek his own good, but that of his neighbour. Paul is giving us some very clear instruction here. As Christians, we have absolute freedom. All things are lawful, but not all things are profitable. All things are lawful, but not all things edify. We are only under one law as Christians, and that law is to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, strength and mind, and to love our neighbour as ourselves. That's it. We are free to do a lot of things. But we have to discern and we have to think about the things that we are doing. Are they, are they profitable? Do they honour God? Do they edify? We, are, we, we possess a great deal of freedom. But how we use that freedom, that's the important thing. And we really need God the Holy Spirit to help us in this regard. To give us that true discernment to be able to understand and to be able to see the consequences of things that we do and to look for the things that that edify the things that lift up and then paul says let no no one seek his own good but that of his neighbor what's he talking about he's talking about true love love does not seek its own but love looks out for the other person jesus said it's more blessed to give than to receive Love does not lift itself up. Love is always looking to lift up the other person, to edify and to strengthen the other person. Christianity is all about love. And if we love God, then we will strive to do the things that honour Him. Not obeying a set of rules and regulations, but living in that true relationship, loving Him with all of our heart, soul, strength and mind, and then loving our neighbour as ourselves. And then we're on the right path. Because we look out to lift up others, as we realise we are here to serve, then God blesses us and helps us. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you. In the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord, We so want to thank you again for this day. We thank you for life. We thank you, Jesus, that you died on the cross, that you shed your blood for us. We thank you that in you we are free. You said we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. You are the truth. We know you and we are free. But help us never to use this freedom in the wrong way. Help us to use this freedom to serve. Help us, Lord, to love more. We need the Holy Spirit. We need Thee every hour, most gracious Lord. We need Thee right now. We need You We need you to pour out Your Spirit upon us and You to refresh us, to strengthen us, to renew us. We pray for a spirit of discernment, Lord, that we'd be able to see through the lies that are all around us and we would know the truth and, and to be able to discern between right and wrong and good and evil and to be able to, to navigate our way through in a way that we live our life loving you and loving our neighbor as ourselves. We know that of our own self, we can't do it. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. So I'm asking you once again, Lord, pour out your spirit upon us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Fall afresh on every listener, Lord. Would you fill them with your power? Would you fill them with the presence of Jesus, with your love, Lord, and and just peace and joy and hope and everything else that comes along with that. Thank you so much, Lord, that you do. We thank you that you love us so much. We thank you that you are always awake. We thank you that you hem us from behind and and around the sides and you hold us up, Lord. We thank you for all the wonderful things that you've given to us. We thank you for life. We ask your blessing over this day. We realize there's many people that are suffering today. There's many people that are in difficulty. We ask for your mercy. We ask for an end to the war in the Ukraine. We ask, Lord, for peace. We ask, Lord, for those who are bearing heavy burdens that you would... Just ease those for them, Lord. We pray for that soul that doesn't know you, that this would be the day they turn to you. We pray, Lord, for our governments and all in authority, that you would help them to do that which is right, not to serve themselves, but to serve our country and to serve our people and to do that which is right and which is honourable and faithful and good. Would you help them, Lord? They can't do it on their own. They need your help. None of us can do it on our own. We need your help. We need your spirit. 
So, Lord, we commend to you the sick and the dying and all who are in need. Ask your blessing over this day. And together now we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow. Take care.